today, the representative, along with survivors from the Michigan State shooting in Oxford, made that announcement today. The three bills range from waiting periods to money for research. Rob Maloney is following this story for us tonight. Rob, this has been a bitter stalemate in Washington. And it is likely to remain so, and here's the reason why. Yes, yeah, 16 months separated Oxford and the MSU shooting, prompting many to say that we need new gun laws, especially here in the state of Michigan. But there are also those who are saying, you know what, we need to be really careful because we want to make sure they actually change things. MSU student Devin Woodruff's nerves remain understandably raw just weeks after the MSU Union shooting where he studied when the gunfire broke out. Until we start treating this like a public health crisis, kids aren't going to feel safe in their communities and in their school. He spoke in Washington, D.C. along Oxford High School shooting survivor Dylan Morris, who like so many students have run from deadly gunfire and want to see gun laws change. Michigan Representative Alyssa Slotkin's proposing a week-long wait before you can receive the gun you purchase and also prevent those with misdemeanor gun charge convictions from gun transfers for three years after that. Preventing gun violence is a matter of Homeland Security. The job of anyone in Homeland Security is to protect U.S. citizens in the homeland, and the bill we're here to unveil today is part and parcel of protecting American citizens. Yet former police officer and attorney Bill Cusick, who also owns Action Impact, two gun stores with ranges, sees a problem because background checks often delay getting your gun right away anyway. 70% of our firearm transactions are already delayed a week. So now you're not really adding anything new to the mix. He adds gun laws do little to prevent criminals from illegally obtaining guns. What have you really accomplished other than maybe you gather some votes? Is that, is that what your real goal is? Or is your real goal to stop this? And so what they're also going to do with these laws, at least they hope to do, is to plow about a quarter of a billion dollars into researching the root causes and therefore ways to figure out to stop all of these kinds of shootings. We'll have to see how that works out because in the House there is going to be opposition. Reporting live, Rod Maloney, Local 4. All right. Thank you, Rod.